right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I got an unusual news video about the coronavirus. And it's been going around and starting in China, now spreading to the rest of the world, the United States, France, Malaysia, etc. And it's really a common virus. Most forms of it are actually not that bad. It's just an upper respiratory sinus sort of thing. But this one is fairly serious and it's spreading very, very quickly. However, um, which doesn't seem too bad. Now, at first glance, the coronavirus does not seem uh, very, very bad at all. But I'm starting to wonder, is the Chinese government actually lying about the number of people infected and its infection rate overall? Because uh, when you first start to read about the coronavirus, which I will, um, you get a sense that it's actually fairly small in scale. And as you do a little bit more research, it starts to get a little bit weird. So let me take you down this path. Um, so starting at this first article here, uh, it says, as Chinese authorities scrambled to restrict an illness that emerged a month ago, citizens are asking whether their governments have failed them or their government has failed them by failing to disclose information, not acting decisively or early enough. So less than a week ago, officials in Wuhan, uh, where the virus was detected, said the mystery illness posed little danger and there was no evidence it could be passed from human to human. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, China's National Health Commission said the situation was preventable and controllable. And on Monday, the number of confirmed cases suddenly tripled. And a respected scientist said the virus, believed to have originated from an animal, was now being transmitted by people. Late on Friday, the official death toll in China rose to 41, with more than 1,000 confirmed cases across almost every province in China as well as South Korea, Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, now the United States, Thailand, Vietnam, etc. Um, so again, at first glance, a thousand confirmed cases is really not a lot. And then 41 deaths, well, that's a fair 4%, um, you know, uh, you know, under 4%, I suppose. Well, 4%, 4.1%. Uh, you know, death ratio, which is not good. And I don't mean to uh, downplay this at all. In fact, I'm trying to do the exact opposite. So 4.1% isn't that bad, but 41 people dying, uh, 1,000 confirmed cases. Uh, and again, this is on Friday, uh, not bad at all. Uh, more people die from the regular flu across the world. Uh, more people die, elderly children die from the common flu and cold uh, every day than that. Um, I I would suspect that more than that die from falling off of a ladder during work every day across the globe. So again, uh, just not too bad at all. Um, so a never before seen virus detected in the Chinese city of Wuhan, which it has been seen before. The coronavirus is a common virus, um, but a mutation of it. So a never before seen mutation would probably be a better way to put that has claimed more than 50 lives and infected more than 2000 Chinese uh, citizens. And this is on uh, the 26th today. So within a couple days, it's now a, a thousand more. Um, but again, th that doesn't seem too bad as a high school can, uh, you know, pretty much infect a thousand people with the flu or the common cold. So again, not that bad, uh, but now 50 lives and with a pneumonia-like illness, according to the China's Health uh, Commission, the virus was first reported to the World Health Organization on December 31st and has been under investigation ever since. Chinese scientists have linked the disease to a family of viruses known as coronaviruses, which include the deadly SARS and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, which actually took the lives of nearly uh, 900 people uh, not that long ago. So on Friday, French authorities confirmed three cases inside the country. The first known cases in Europe and Australia announced its four. On Sunday, the U.S. Centers and Disease Prevention announced a third case in the United States. So spreading pretty rapidly, and it's Chinese New Year, so everybody wants to go home whether that's abroad or whether that's to a higher population center in um, in China, as the city of Wuhan is in the um, the province of uh, Hub uh, Hubei, uh, if I said that right. Don't speak Chinese. I'm sorry, but um, I'll show you that in just a second. So 
uh, this article now, uh, we've we seen this a couple days ago uh, of China building this uh, this hospital in, in, in under six days, in six days, essentially, uh, you know, uh, just uh, well, like a week, basically, um, as fast as they can. And the, the, the article says, coronavirus, how can China build a hospital so quickly? Well, the article is mostly about how they can build a hospital so quickly, but you have to wonder if there's only like a thousand or two thousand cases in China, why would you need to build a fast hospital for it? This is where it starts to get kind of weird and you have to kind of question this. Well, if it's just regular flu season, more than 2,000 people in any given country have the flu. And sure, uh, the death rate of uh, four to 5% is pretty high with the flu. Again, with the elderly or children, that's probably pretty much similar to the regular flu. So why build an emergency hospital from scratch with all of these excavators and a 24-7 um, operation. So there are currently uh, 834, uh, 830 confirmed cases. Again, it just fl it flip flops all over uh, in China. 41 who have died. The outbreak began in Wuhan, home to around 11 million people. China is home to a total of 1.4 billion. Uh, and uh, again, Hubei is uh, not not the most dense region of China. Hospitals in the city have been flooded and concerned with residents and pharmacies are running out of medicine. So, so many people. So if there's only 834, 830 con, uh, confirmed cases, excuse me, in China, how are hospitals being flooded and pharmacies are running out of medicine? Again, none of, none of these numbers add up. None of these numbers make any sense. According to the state media, the new hospital will contain a thousand beds. So only a thousand beds and you're going to build this hospital as fast as you can to only have a thousand beds. Well, now a thousand beds is quite a bit, but for an emergency hospital, um, very interesting. Video fo uh, footage showed online by Chinese state media shows diggers already at the site, which is a, a square footage of 25,000 feet. And, um, it's based on a similar hospital set up in Beijing to tackle SARS virus in 2003. It's basically a quarantine hospital where they send people with infectious diseases so it has the safety and protective gear in place. And they can build it in just six days, which it's probably on its way to being completed by now because I think they started it a few days ago, so it's probably halfway complete. Uh, but they're doing it around the clock 24-7. Not a, a you know questionable feat at all uh, to be done. So again, this is the population uh, density of, of China, and uh, Wuhan is about right here or so. Th this this map, I think, um, I think the provinces are slightly different now. I think this might be old. I'm not sure, but... Uh, Wuhan is about right here. So you can see it's not even actually the densest. It's one of the densest, but it's not the densest, uh, densest uh, place in China. So if the infection actually spreads to Jiangsu or uh, Zhejiang, uh, you know, to Shanghai, etc., cetera, um, you know, this, this could actually be a lot worse, but really, really fast. Uh, but people are starting to question it. The journalist based in Hong Kong told uh, Nigel Farage that the Hong Kong government is trying to cover up the true extent of the coronavirus. Um, this terrible virus is likely to go um, apoplectic shortly. Uh, they're trying to cover it up. Nigel Farage said, uh, you're feeling, Paul, is, is this worse than what they're saying? He said, much worse. There's never, uh, there's never been a case. Um, now, SARS was pretty bad, but it, um, you know, not as bad as this is, is seemingly setting up to be. It's almost like a laboratory experiment, which has gone wild, you know, like a military thing. Now, I'm not being melodramatic like you. I've been in the media all my life. Someone has to tell the truth. I'm British. I want to tell you and the British people the truth. He continued, the border here in Hong Kong, because it's so it's a special arrangement where they have autonomy, should have been closed, right? But she takes orders from the bosses in Beijing. So everybody's saying that. There, there's two experienced doctors who are experts just dropped dead in Wuhan. You've probably heard about that. Just dropped dead after working on this. And there are numbers of hospital staff that are dropping to the floor, which is what a lot of people are saying, that uh, you feel no symptoms whatsoever, but with a CAT scan or something like that to your lungs, you you have pneumonia. And then uh, a lot of people are literally dropping dead uh, or dropping uh, unconscious in the streets. Uh, that doesn't sound like the flu to me. He, he added that people are terrified and the government is trying to play it down. Now, a bit conspiratorial, but there's a lot of this. There's actually a lot of this. 
another article says China has a history of lying. Jim Cramer claims the coronavirus is the cover-up. Yeah, Jim Cramer from Cramer from Mad Money, that guy, uh, he suggested that China might be trying to cover up the truth about the rapidly spreading coronavirus that has shut down parts of the Asian country and sent shock waves across the globe. Now, again, uh, why would Jim Cramer be an expert on this? Well, he's probably an expert on Chinese news. And, well, anybody that watches this channel probably kind of is, too. We all know that cryptocurrency and Chinese news is always manipulated, um, always always false. There's always some kind of... Um, there's always some kind of narrative to with Chinese news, whether the government's trying to push something or somebody's trying to push something towards the government or something like that. Chinese news is very, very, very unreliable. And it would be very surprising to me to uh, to, to think that the government would say, oh, yeah, no, there's like there's like a million people sick. Like, whoopsie, right? We didn't do so good. That doesn't make the Chinese government look good. In fact, what would be the opposite of surprising to me would, would the Chinese government to say, no, this is totally under control. And everything's just fine. So why did the mainstream media fall in love with the Chinese again? I think they're, they're trying to tell the truth about this illness, Kramer asked on Twitter, right? I mean, like, you got to ask that. I mean, the Chinese news is pretty unreliable. When one user asked Kramer which uh, media outlets he was referring to, Kramer replied, the ones who don't say that China has a history of lying. I got to agree with that. Like, they do have a history of lying. The market analysis also agreed with another Twitter user who, who tweeted, Communist China has been uh, exploiting the habitual mutual trust of Western people to manipulate public opinion. Opinions. Absolutely, they are. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that's just Jim Cramer. Uh, but uh, UK virus researchers estimate 250,000 people in Wuhan will have a coronavirus in just 13 days. This was written uh, two days ago. So, um, yeah, th not long to go. A UK expert on the transmission and evolutionary dynamics of infectious diseases has published a paper with four colleagues that estimates transmission parameters for the Wuhan coronavirus. And it's terrifying. Dr. Reed estimates that only 5.1% of infections in Wuhan are identified and that an explosion in that number of cases less than two weeks away. And, well, there's a lot of poor people in a lot of countries, but China has, well, 1.4 billion people. So statistically, yeah, there's a lot of poor people who are not going to be able to afford or not going to, you know, go to a hospital or anything like that. So the number of cases um, are only counted when you go to a hospital. The doctor's like, yep, you got it and makes the check marks. So there are probably, um, you know, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. Who knows how many people with this now? And it's Chinese New Year where everybody's just sort of migrating all over uh, to go home. Um, so by February 4th, he writes that our model predicts the number of infected people to be greater than 250,000. Uh, so that's moving pretty quickly. Um, so this video here, I, I can't, nobody can really confirm if this video is uh, correct um, or if it's false or anything like that. But a nurse in Wuhan saying that the, the 90,000 people in Wuhan are affected by the coronavirus. And the translation is, uh, hello everyone in the world. I am, uh, I don't know, currently in the Hubei uh, region where the Wuhan virus spread to. Uh, right now, um, the region and surrounding regions have about 90,000 infected people right now. How do you know about uh, the Wuhan virus contagion? If one person is infected, you are unable to spec uh, specifically identify the person who is infected by the Wuhan virus and they are not treated properly. Again, it's somewhat uh, grammatically poor here because of translation. The infected person can infect at least 14 people. Currently, it's the Chinese New Year. Everyone in the region wants to go home, spend time with their families, eat together. So don't do that. She's talking about how uh, they need masks, goggles, clothes to go to Wuhan. And some other people are asking, hey, is this like real or not? And some people are in the, in, um, in, the, in the chat here are saying like, oh, like my, yeah, my grandmother is from Wuhan. And she says her accent is a uh, Hubei, you know, um, accent. And that everything is correct, that 90,000 people are infected. It wasn't 90,000 dead, uh, but 90,000 people are affected by her, her voice and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of videos as well all over the place uh, showing, um, you know, bodies all over the halls of hospitals. Well, if there's only like 50 people dead in China, which I don't believe that at all, because, I mean, 50 people die from the flu in the United States, uh, probably more than that every day out of 350 million people just in the United States alone. I'm sure there's more than 50 deaths, uh, whether it be elderly or children or something like that, um, you know, which is a different story there. But uh, just 50, it, there, there's no reason con for concern if there's only 50 people dead. Now, I don't, again, I don't mean to downplay human life there, but a lot of people die every day, okay? A lot of people die every day. Uh, things hit them in the head, they fall off a ladder, uh, they get into a car crash, uh, they die from cancer, they, you know, they, people die from smoking, uh, alcohol, everything, you know? 
So 50 is just not a lot, but uh, showing bodies um, all over hospitals, um, hard to get this one going, but the disturbing new video shows bodies uh, piling up in the hallways of hospital in China. The image is in from inside the Red Cross Hospital in Wuhan, the city at the epicenter of the deadly viral outbreak show covered bodies lining corridors as staffers and patients walk about with masks in their f uh, on their faces. The video, which has been widely shared on social media, was verified by a story full on Friday. Officials in Wuhan are scrambling to build a thousand bed hospital to address the burgeoning need for uh, treatment of patients sickened by the coronavirus. Coronavirus. So again, if only 2,000 people are affected, how can these hospitals in Wuhan, uh, which has a massive population, I'm sure there's more than one hospital. I mean, there's more than one hospital in every city. I'm I'm in the city of Pittsburgh. There's probably like five different hospitals I could go to at any time. Um, so if, so it's way more than 2,000. If these hospitals are, are packed to the gills, uh, clearly. Um, there's way more than just a couple thousand people, which is outrageous. Um, because if only a couple thousand people were ill, why would this even be a problem? There's 1.4 billion people in China. More people are getting more diseases than that every minute uh, of you know of the day. It, it, this is just not a problem if it wasn't. Um, another one is, uh, here's another video of coronavirus. So look inside the sealed off city of Wuhan uh, with people just packed to the gills inside hospitals, um, cleared out markets, absolute panic everywhere. Um, nothing left in the markets. Uh, people falling in the streets, just falling down in the streets. Um, and sickness everywhere. So is the so the question is 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 the Chinese government actually telling the truth? And it's probably more likely that they're not. Uh, it would make them look bad. They, the, the the Chinese government does that. I suppose a lot of governments do that, but uh, the Chinese government is pretty notorious for that. If they feel like they were doing something wrong or they made a mistake, uh, they're just not going to do it. Uh, it's sort of like Chernobyl. Uh, you know, like the, the government was just like, nah, like let's just not tell everybody, right? Like this is a big mistake. We don't want to look bad, right, to the rest of the world. Like we'll just let a bunch of people get, you know. Uh, radiation poisoning and just let it go all over the planet. Not a problem, right? Until like everybody finds out about it. Uh, so I feel like sooner or later here, we're going to find the, the, the bigger extent of this. Uh, coronavirus is causing people to drop on the floor in the street. Um, and there's just so many cases of people just falling all over the place. There's all kinds of videos all over the net. I mean, just pick one. Uh, you know, people are just falling all over the place. And, and, and again, it's hard to verify if this is just, maybe that person was just standing with his knees uh, straight and like he stopped the blood flow to his head or something like that. Who knows? But, um, you know, th th the videos are just all over the place and uh, pick your poison. It's just a matter of like picking whichever one you want. Um, so another, uh, this, this guy here, Dr. Ding, um, Eric Ding, uh, I'm not going to pronounce his full name, but, uh, that's it. Uh, he says, um, he's been covering this, uh, this, uh, epidemic here. It says, Holy Mother of God, the new coronavirus, which you could say is getting close to a pandemic. The new coronavirus is a 3.8. How bad is that reproductive R0 value? So the value of R, um, of the R0 value is how many people, uh, will get sick from one person. So if it's 3.8, that means that uh, if I go out and about, I'm going to get 3.8 people sick. And then those 3.8 people are going to each get 3.8 people sick, um, which is, you can see how incredibly uh, epidemic that would be. Um, the, a whole city would be sick within you know hours, essentially, if it was that, really that fast, or however fast the symptoms come on. Uh, but that's a lot. That That's really a lot. So you can see how exponentially that would just explode. He says, it is thermonucleic pandemic level bad. Never seen an actual virility uh, coefficient outside of my Twitter in my entire life. I'm not exaggerating. He says, what is the R0 of the flu? In another tweet, many people ask for, for the comparison uh, on the coronavirus. In most years, the typical seasonal flu has an R0 of 1.28. So again, if you go to high school or you go to college or you go to class, you go to work, um, you, you're probably going to get 1.28 people sick if you have the flu. Um, not too bad, but you can see how quickly that is when everyone says, oh, it's flu season, or when your kid comes home from sick and you're like, uh, you know, from or from school sick, and you're like, oh, it's flu season, the whole class is sick. Um, I mean, my son came from preschool uh, like a month ago, and the entire class was gone. They, they were absent for a whole week. 
I think there was like two kids in class that the teacher said, as he said, everybody was, was gone from the class because it's just like, it, it's that fast. Like one kid's sick, boom, it's like the whole class is sick, 1.28 each. The 2009 flu pandemic, pandemic was 1.48. Uh, and the 1918 Spanish flu. You guys ever watch, uh, what's that movie with the, the sparkly vampires? Twilight, yeah, he, that guy supposedly was gonna die from the 1918 Spanish flu, but he got bit by a vampire and then he lived forever, right? Fast fact for you, that was real. 1.80, so that was really, really viral. Um, and so what is the R0? Could be used to measure any contagious disease that may spread in a susceptible population. Some of the most highly contagious conditions are measles and the common flu. More serious conditions such as Ebola and HIV spread less easily between people. So we can see that this is like this little mini chart here, more contagious, so hepatitis C, is like an RO value of, uh, uh, you know, you can get two. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be estimated with their RO values, but you can see like measles is way higher. SARS is kind of actually in the middle, which SARS was was pretty bad. Um, and again, so th the WHO says that researchers think each person, uh, each sick person will go on to infect 1.4 and 2.5 people, um, though that's only a preliminary estimate. So we can see that uh, that was a preliminary estimate and then the estimates are now to like 3.8 or higher. Um, for comparison, the RO for SARS was between two and five, which I'm not sure about that one. Again, that one brings you to, I think the W, uh, the WH or the global health security. Um, and they must've got that from this. And so two to five is pretty outrageous. I, I feel like that's a very bad number. Um, you know, it's a very poor scientific number to be that wrong to, you know, uh, well, it's, it's a, you know, uh, where's the ball going to land? You know, it's for science, eh, between two and five, right? And you're like, well, uh, can we, we get that number a little bit that's not that's not very good numbers uh but you can see the SARS was pretty bad too um but is this one worse everybody is saying that this is far worse um you know and and this uh this guy's uh Twitter is actually pretty uh a pretty good knowledge base an epidemic with an RO of 2.5 could still infect between 60 to 90 percent of the entire population now uh SARS was contained fairly well um but if th this one has already breached the world, uh, Thailand, Malaysia, France, the United States, it's basically everywhere. This is actually a really bad time to have a viral uh, illness that is essentially killing, if we can go by these numbers, which these are really bad numbers. Now, only 2,000 citizens, I really, really, really doubt that. If it has an, uh, an RO or an R0 of 3.8 or even two, uh, you know, it's going to be way more than 2,000. So throw that 2,000 in the trash. But like, let's use it for now. We'll pick it out of the trash and dust it off for a second. 50 people out of uh, 1,000 or 2,000, you know, is anywhere from 2.5 to 5 percent um you know death rate with this which is really high uh for a flu like especially for adults and not we're not even just talking like ch like the effects on children or the elderly like the flu can have can be very bad for these are like grown adults who are able to uh you know just be sick for a few days you know blow your nose a few times hey eh, i'll go back to work after a few days um, so this is really, really bad. And uh, since it's already out and about now, and this is during Chinese New Year, where everybody's going home from, Ch either they're going to China, coming from China, traveling. This is huge for Chinese. Um, you know, they're all going to the major population centers to be with family. Major population centers are, are traveling to light population centers to be with family. Uh, also family traveling to different countries uh, to be with family as well. So, um, you know, I'll keep I'll try to keep an update on this, but I really believe that the Chinese government is lying. I, I feel like this number should be um, it is more like uh, what it was said in this one. It, it, it should be at least 250,000 people out of 1.4 billion people uh, with an R0 anywhere between 2.5 to 3.8, as said by by doctors and, and in articles and things like that. Estimates from the World Health Organization, etc. Uh, it's going to be way more than this. Um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty bad. It's on the West Coast of the United States right now, um, like in around Los Angeles, Orange County, et cetera. So, um, you know, 
I believe that the Chinese government is lying. I, I, I think they're just trying to cover it up. You know, they, they sort of try to save face as the Chinese. They, they always, you know, oh, no, 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 we got this. We got this under control. And then eventually, um, I think we're going to see this get worse and worse and worse. So um, I'll keep an eye on this. If it keeps getting worse, maybe I'll, I'll talk about that news as well. But, um, you know, let me know. Hey, let me know in the comments. I mean, what do you guys think about this? Is it, is it going to be bad? Is it going to be like SARS where it was pretty bad, but uh, it didn't really affect most of the world? Um, is it Chinese? Chinese government lying. I don't know. You guys decide. Put it down in the comments. But as usual, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe to the video, all that good stuff. And as usual, I'll see you guys next time.